have a list of some of the different tests that may be used. The first is the A1C, which you mentioned a little mm -hmm. earlier. So can we go more into depth as to what the A1C test is? Yeah, the A1C is a, it's a blood test, a simple blood test that you can do. You don't have to be fasting to do it. Mm -hmm. It's an average blood sugar. So it's, it's measuring a chemical reaction that happens on the red blood cell in response to glucose. And so that's why it comes as a percentage. Um, normal is less than 5.7%. And we diagnose diabetes at a 6.5 or higher. Right. Um, you could also check a random blood sugar. You could check fasting blood sugars. And you could also do the oral glucose tolerance test to diagnose diabetes. And I want to add to that, because I know when, when a woman is pregnant, we have to do the glucose yes. test. Mm -hmm. So it's, can you tell us why um, pregnant women also are more at risk for developing diabetes? Yeah, absolutely. Pregnancy is, um, it, because of a lot of the hormonal changes as well as the weight gain that we see during pregnancy, it's one of the reasons why there is a, a in, increased incidence of gestational diabetes. Right. And so the glucose tolerance test that you do during pregnancy is very similar to the glucose tolerance test that we do to diagnose or evaluate somebody with diabetes. Now, how different is the diagnostic, pro diagnostic process for type 1 compared to type 2? You could do the same thing with um, type 1 and type 2. Uh, most times, patients with type 1 diabetes, they end up presenting with a lot of symptoms. You check a random blood sugar and it's very high, and that gives you the diagnosis right there. Then we usually do an A1C test mm -hmm. to further evaluate how, um, how bad their blood sugars have been in the last three months and just give us a sense of how long this has been going on for and the severity of the disease. So as an endocrinologist, or Dr. Prasco's, do you diagnose the patients or does that normally come from the primary care That's physician? That's a great question. <laughs> um, I almost never diagnose diabetes, um, even though I treat it. Right. And the reason is that they come to me, they come referred to me. And so it's really um, important for the patients to feel empowered to go to their doctors, especially if there's risk, risk factors, and to get screened for diabetes, mm -hmm. and also for the primary care doctors to screen for diabetes um, routinely in their, in their offices. A lot of times uh, there are also health fairs that patients go to and I see a lot of patients that were diagnosed at a health fair they go and they just get a random blood sugar and it's 250 which is very wow. elevated and um, and that's how they come to me but it's very funny because I almost never diagnosed diabetes. <laughs>